Hello everybody, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In the last one, I traveled from Prim to Nipton to Novak, and along the way got my first real taste of the wasteland. Oh, look at that face. Oh, oh, it wasn't enough, it wasn't enough, it wasn't enough. Ah, by the skin of my teeth on that one, huh folks? Today we are picking up right where I left off in Novak, and the first thing I'm gonna do is see what's inside that dinosaur because I discovered there's a door in that dinosaur. And I'm real curious as to what's inside that dinosaur. And then after that, we'll just mosey around and see what speaks to me. Here we go. Oh, I'm so curious. It could be anything. It could be literally anything. What is it? It's a gift shop. I'm slightly disappointed. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. T-Rex figurine? I'll take one of those. Oh, there it is. Dinky the T-Rex souvenir. He has a thousand of them. He wasn't almost running out for one cap, huh? I would just like to buy one. Not a thousand, one. real wasteland adventure right here just this counting back from a thousand there we go I will take one thank you don't need a thousand I need one anyway on to business I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat have you seen anyone like that sure but he didn't buy any souvenirs if that's what you're wondering sounded like he didn't have his money with him Manny might know more about him thought he might have been friends with one or two of them He's up in the dino mouth during the day. Oh no, it's night! Where is he during night, Cliff Briscoe? I gotta talk to Manny Vargas, huh? Alright. Oh, put the... What is the expression? Put the sticks to him? That's not right. We gonna put the squeeze on them suckers downtown. I'll, uh, I'll talk to him. I'll figure out what he knows. That's what I'm getting at. Alright, so up here must be the dino mouth, right? I wanna see... Oh, Boone! Boone is a companion! And I know that because one of you guys gave me the rundown on companions in the last video. Thank you, by the way. Thank you all who leave advice and tips and tricks. I appreciate it massively. Kiss, kiss. Anyways, based on the companion perks, Boone was one that I had my eye on because he's a sniper and he comes with a sniper perk. And I like me snipers. So let's talk to him and see if I can convince him to be the deputy to my sheriff in this wasteland adventure. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Not a great start. Sorry. Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Rule one, expect the unexpected, babe. Wow. This is really one of those heartwarming moments in sports where you just- Oh! If you're looking for somebody in particular, I could tip you off if I see them. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. And I just wanted to check out the view. Is that illegal? Sue me. I think you better leave. Oh, no. Do you treat everyone around here like this? Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. Ooh, drama! So we're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Let's take a look at this quest I have all of a sudden, huh? Ask around Novak for information and then send someone in front of Dinky the Dinosaur to die. Ooh, I like that power. I get to decide who dies on this one. Here's the rundown, see? Broad taken from her home in the middle of the night. Sold to Caesar's Legion, presumed dead. Her bow is out for revenge, looking for any information as to who tipped off the body snatchers. Now this is where I come in. 
It's time to pound pavement and see if I can get any information. Here we go. I, I, I really can't do a 30s accent, huh? I certainly tried. I certainly tried. Okay, so it looks like I have three, count it, three map markers. Oh, there, oh, okay, just kidding, more than three. The more I turn, the more pop up. I'm just gonna pick one and uh, hope that works. That's how you do real detective work, see? You just hit the pavement and see what happens. Start talking to people. See who wants to yap. Looks like we have a map marker in here to No Bark Shack. That's a name, No Bark. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Who tried to make you talk? Confound it, No Bark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Oh, well, here we go. We can get right into it. <clears throat> what do you know about the abduction of Boone's wife, see? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby, too, for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. And now I know better. Are cannibals something I also have to worry about in this game? Oh, well, look at that. I talked to the right person, and now I get to look for evidence. Here's the update on the case so far. I ran into a shady-looking character named Nobark Noonan. He was paranoid, nervous, shaking like leaves on a tree. But he did provide me with my first concrete lead. I'm gonna head into the lobby of the D-Light whatever motel and see if I can find any evidence. All right. Nothing's jumping out at me immediately. I could steal a coffee mug. That, that'll be like equal revenge, right, Boone? Uh, ooh, a safe. Let's open that bad boy up. Oh, look at this. This is just like Skyrim. Oh, I'm good at this. I know what to do, dude. I don't need any comment to coach me through that one, babe. Woo! Uh, there's a bill of sale and some bottle caps. I will take both. Thank you very much. Look at me go. I'm on an absolute roll. Looks like that was the evidence I was looking for. Should I read it? Should I read said evidence so I know what's going on here? We, the representatives of the Consul Officiorium, have this day bargained and purchased from G.D. May Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights to the ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps. <gasps> it wasn't a he, it was a she! <laughs> so some corrupted broad named Jeannie Mae Crawford is my suspect. Let's go see if I can track her down and then take her to die. Jeannie Mae Crawford. I just want to talk. You can come out. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Any of you fine folks seen a Jeannie Mae Crawford? Oh, nope. Those are just mercenaries. Hey. Hello, Dr. Ada Strauss. You are covered in blood. I'm looking for a Jeannie Mae Crawford. Has anybody seen a Jeannie Mae Crawford? Ah, Jeannie Mae Crawford's house. I'll just enter. Don't worry. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Look at that. That's the face of a killer right there. I need you to come with me, see? Come on down to the station for some extra questioning. Nothing to worry about, just routine, I assure you, ma'am. Okay, if that's what you think. It is, right this way. Oh, she's, she's charging, she's ready. Hold on, you know? All right, I'm gonna save real quick like, because I don't know what's about to happen. We're, we're going out in front of the dinosaur, like here. Is here okay, Boone? I brought the lady. I brought the lady that sold your wife that you wanted to kill. She's right there. What do I do? Oh. <laughs> Good shot, Boone. That's it then. How did you know? I used my eyes to read the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here, this is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. No, they're not, they're not. I want 
want you to come with me. Come on. What are you going to do, huh? Not come with me? I don't think so. I don't know. You don't want to do that. I do. I do. We'll kill more with the two of us. Come on. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose. But this isn't going to end well. I literally Fine. don't care, Boone. We're going to be Let's best friends. That will always end well, okay? Oh, look at this. Boone is giving you the spotter perk. Hell yeah. And now I have a best friend. Somebody to follow me around. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. All right, let's see if we can now talk to, uh, what's his face? Manny Vargas. Hey. What's going on, man? Um, I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? I don't want to kill him, that's for sure. Um, I'm just gonna say I'm looking for answers. That's, that's vague. That's vague enough. Must be something pretty important to be chasing a guy like that. Uh, yeah. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Uh. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. What do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Ghouls? There's ghouls in this game? What are ghouls, though? Because when I think of ghouls, I think of, like, Scooby-Doo woo type thing, you know? And that's probably not what this is. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Well, I'm obviously gonna kill him. So I'll see what I can do about it. It'd mean a lot to me. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. All right, let's see where we are headed. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. How do I zoom? Bumpers. Oh, that's just a hop, skip, and a jump. All right, boom, my boy. Here we go, Wasteland Adventure. Yeah, get, get pumped up, bro. We're doing it. Whoa. What's radioactive? Is it this body? A glowing one, huh? Is that like a radioactive ghoul? If I had to guess, maybe? I don't know. I'm just saying stuff, you know? Enter the facility and discover the source of the ghouls. The ghoul guys. Oh, look at this. That looks like a facility if I've ever seen one. And a dome. We got domes in the wasteland. That's cool. Boone, back the hell up. Boone, back the hell up. I didn't realize there were ghouls. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at Boone go. And I get XP for it. Boone, I love you. Can't run from me. Get him. Get him. Oh. Woo. Hello. A feral ghoul. Yeah, I mean, that's about what I was expecting. That thing looks like it'd be a woo kind of guy. Or maybe more of a kind of thing you know i'm just gonna hit him in the head no don't hit my beloved boon that's my best friend and i'm gonna hit him three times in the head because one of you guys actually let me know in the last video that you can hit things multiple times in vats so thank you to you let's see some carnage that's exactly what i wanted that's exactly what the hell i'm talking about beautiful absolutely beautiful now let's be super snaky and just go in nice and easy, you know? We don't need to do a frontal assault. Let's flank to the left and see if we can find a way to slip inside and maybe hit him from the back, huh? Use some strat? Use some tactical strat? Ooh, is there a hole in the fence right there? Oh! Oh! Tactical strategic advantage! Uh-oh. Oh, my. Oh, boy. I didn't even see him! I want to get, like, a real close look at him. Don't mind me, Boone. Head. Dead. Oh, I love that so much. I love that. Boone, we are such a good team right now. Are you kidding me? <gasps> and I leveled up. Wow. Ooh, he had human flesh and a pack of cigarettes. That is quite the combination here. Okay, let's do speech up to 55. We'll do sneak up to 40. Science to 25. Uh, lock pick to 27, I guess. Ooh, I get a perk. I think I want bloody mess. Because, 
you guys know I have bloodlust, and that seems like um something that my bloodlust will enjoy. So bloody mess it is. With the bloody mess part, characters and creatures you kill will often explode into a red, gut-ridden, eyeball-strewn pace. Fun! Oh, and you'll do an extra 5% damage with all weapons. Yeah! Get ready for some eyeball-strewn paste! Hey! Over here! Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry! Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. All right. Get moving. So based off the fact he called me smooth skin, I'm thinking he's probably a ghoul or something. I'm looking for a big room with a staircase. Sure, no problem. What's making noise? Well, here's a dead ghoul. He had some cool stuff on him. And I'm encumbered. Ugh, I need to find like a house or something that I can settle down in and put my stuff in. Like you have way too much stuff and not enough space. It's overwhelming. You know what? Looking at my equipment, I think I want to try out this service rifle. I have a bunch of bullets for it and it looks like it's like a, a more substantial gun, which might benefit me in this particular situation. Any ghouls want to mess with me now? I do, I do not like those noises. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Oh! Okay, so this gun is a semi-automatic, which I do like, I am a fan of that. And then that glowy thing it did must have been the spotter's perk from my good pal, Boone! What is that? Is that a mutant? What's the problem, smooth skin? Lost your way. I'm exploring, leave me alone. Stop wasting time. You're on my time, buddy boy. Come on! What did that? What else would it have been? Of course it was a ghoul. Scary, that was scary. It's so dark. Oh, you know what? One of you guys told me I have a flashlight. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, you guys really are the best. Thank you to whoever told me about the flashlight. I mean, I don't want to jinx myself or anything, but it is going smashingly so far. I haven't really had any trouble. And with Boone by my side, how could I? He's like the perfect wingman. Love you, Boone. I'm feeling right this time. Yup. Ooh, a safe. Um, let's just see. Mmm, right again. Oh, no, left? Yeah, it was left. Ooh, look at this. I will take all of that. Yoink! Yoink! This place is massive. Do you know that? This place is absolutely massive. Okay, that was definitely thanks to my bloody mess perk. That was insane. I'm going. I gotta admit, I don't know where I'm going or how to get there. But I'm certainly raking in the XP. What is this? Nothing. It's nothing. Oh, I guess it was something because I, I have a note now all of a sudden. I don't know. Oh, this is a big metal room. If I've ever seen one. Oh, I should have gone for all three. That was on me. There we go. I love it when I can shoot their heads off. I really do. It makes me happy. Ah, uh, excuse me. Boone, are you seeing this? Where are you, best friend? Yep, that's me. There we go. Show me the bad guy, huh? I really feel like things are starting to come together for me in this game. Like, I have equipment that I like. I'm figuring stuff out. I have a best friend on my team now. Like, I'm starting to feel like how I felt when I really started to enjoy Skyrim. So I'm hoping it goes the same way with this game because I've had a hell of a lot of fun with this game so far. Oh, can I not get in here? Hello? All right, Smoothskin, I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. 
I'll sure as hell be watching you. I'll only kill you if you provoke me in the slightest bit, so don't worry. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Yeah, r rude as hell. I guess I'm going upstairs to talk to this Jason character, though. Oh, you know what? I should save. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a Jason. Has anybody seen Jason? That's not Jason. Where's Jason? Oh, I found him. He's glowing. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? That's a lot. That's a lot to take in. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete. When the demons appeared, the demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. Oh, no. But now you have come. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Ah, uh, for sure. For money. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Anything for the great journey? Huh? What? Was he a glowing one? Because he's, like, got all sorts of radiation going on. Look at this. He's got, like, chunks missing from his body. That is a freaky-looking dude. He, you should not be alive, I think. All right, Boone, me boy. We're looking for a basement. We're going to go kill some demons. We're going on a demon hunt. We're not going to stop until we weed them out. And don't think we don't know how to weed them out. Basement, basement, where's the basement? I know we want to go down. I'll do my best to go down. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, down. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this looks right. This looks right. I can hear vague footsteps. But I haven't seen anything yet. Which, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. The demons are invisible. Another uh, mutant. Another natkin. Open door. I'm feeling right. Oh, it's left. Easy now. There we go. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Hi. Well, Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. <laughs> Looks like I can kill you. Uh, no. How'd you end up trapped down here? Let's not jump right to killing, okay? I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Um, how can I help you? Out of this room, big guy. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Uh, okay. I will try my best. I'm on the lookout for a female friend, so... I guess I'll see if I see any of that in my travels. What the hell is that? 
Davison? It has a name? Should I try to talk to him? What's that, Antler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. You, 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 hmm? You're talking to that skull? Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? You were right. You're talking to a skull, and you sound strange. I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. For sure. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kin. You're taking orders from a hunk of bone, idiot. You did it now! Antler's horn stabbing! Antler, mad! Okay, we'll fight. Oh, he's invisible! They can't go invisible! That's crazy, dude. Head, 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 head. Oh, four head shots. Let's see what that does. Not a lot. Ooh, that does not do a lot. Yeah, let me get out of your way, Boone. Ah! Watch out, Boone! Ah! Watch out, me! Jeez, dude! Quick, hit him in the head! For hell's sakes, kill him! Woo-wee, yeah! How, uh, how about that one, Boone, huh? Got anything good? Bumper sword and his key. I will take your key. And I will also take a stim pack, because my hell... Open, says I. Is this where I need to be? I feel like no. No, this is not where I need to be. Oh, okay. Okay, that, um... Stuff got a little more serious all of a sudden. Are those nuclear bombs or what? Hello, who's down there? Me, what's the deal with all these rockets? That's none of your business, Smooth Skin. Jason was very clear. Get rid of the demons, then report back. He didn't tell you to poke around down there. Got it? Got it. Let's hope you do. I don't like how it went from intercom voice to all of a sudden he's right behind me talking down my neck voice. I think that was just like an accident, but I did not like that. It was very creepy. <sighs> Going deeper still into the basement. Still don't know what the hell I am doing or where the hell I'm going, but I am certainly trying. I see it. I see it. Ah! That scared me. That got me. That got me. Die. That doesn't do enough damage. That really doesn't. Oh, yep. Yeah, he rocked me on that one. Woo! I like how they're all dressed like babushkas. It's my little Russian lady. Please. Please get me some beats. There's another one! Company. Where is it? Where is it? Thank you, Boone. Yes, we do have company. I got him. I got him. I got him. Right in the head. Four, just to be safe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. These guys are kind of fun to kill. When they don't, like, absolutely kill you immediately, it's fun. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I see him shivering. Oh! Can't Boone, are you me. okay? You're on fire. Did he get him? Damn, Boone. That was a beautiful shot, my man. Ooh, an incinerator. <gasps> I need that. I need that so I can repair my other incinerator. Yes. Jail key. Cool. I got that. So now if there's a jail, I have a key to it. And I think that was the last nightkin. Yep, it was. Anytime I can go back to Mr. Bright himself and tell him that the nightkin are gone. But I want to find Harlan's friend. So I'm going to look around a little bit more and see what I can find. Are you in here? Yes, she must be, because I have the jail key. Boone, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> what was that, Boone? What was that? I love this game. I really do. Oh. Oh, she died. I gotta go tell Harlan the bad news. I knew she would be dead. I knew it. Did you find my friend? Dead. I see. Well, spare me the details. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Is there loot up there? Can I get some loot? <clears throat> ah! Oh, there's bear traps! 
Don't step in the bear traps. Hello. Uh, ah, there's mines. I hate when there's mines. They get me. If I'd known they were there, I would have just started walking. Okay, that, that was cool. Yeah, no, just take all my health. Why don't you? Love it. All right, Harlan, there better be something good up here, okay? I, I blew up twice to get up here. Yay, some rounds, okay. A few bullets, that was worth it, yeah. Yeah! That was legitness! Yeah, it was. Is the way clear? Yes, the demons are gone. Praise the creator, and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. That's it, huh? Head back to the basement and talk to Jason Bright about what comes next. Really? Why didn't he just meet me down there? Huh? Save us all some time and some effort? Or is that just too smart? Hey, what's going on with this, huh? I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. Our preparations are nearly complete. But the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Okay, so... They're not bombs, first of all, it's a rocket. They're gonna get in the rocket and fly somewhere. Got it. I saw bomb-shaped things and I thought bomb. My mistake. Second of all, are you seriously gonna make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Did you, like, eat any mushrooms around the time you had that vision? Mayhaps? All right, folks, I think I'm gonna call it there. We made quite a bit of progress in this one, honestly. Hold on, he just like disappeared somewhere. Okay, that's a hatch to somewhere, apparently. Now we know. Because apparently you're spinning around and apparently every time you get dizzy, yeah. the all you do is get dizzy. Anyways, we made a lot of progress. I had a lot of fun, introduced to some new characters, some new enemies, and I feel like I'm actually getting my footy, you know? I didn't struggle so much. So next time we will continue the adventure, uh, head back to Novak and talk to Manny Vargas and hopefully get some information about the guy who shot me and just, you know, continue the Wasteland adventure. So thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you next time.